What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, on this video here, we're gonna go down a rabbit hole once again on a wiki of ice and fire. Hope you guys enjoyed that Harry and Clark Stark uh, video, which is the first video I made here with uh, Game of Thrones stuff. What we're gonna do in this video today, all right? We're going to go and trace the new, which is House of the Dragon, to the old, which is Game of Thrones. Uh, in the second season of House of the Dragon, we have a character coming uh, into the mix here. His name is Lord Cregan Stark. Uh, and the last name there is no coincidence, very much a relation to the Starks that we're familiar with in Game of Thrones. Um, as we know, House of the Dragon takes place about 170 years before the events of Game of Thrones. So there's a significant amount of time uh, between Lord Cregan Stark's heyday here uh, when he's the Lord of Winterfell. He's a legendary Stark um, I'm not going to go into any spoilers or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to trace his lineage from his time when he was the Lord of Winterfell all the way down to Ned Stark, who is the Lord of, of Winterfell and House Stark in the first season of Game of Thrones. How far separated are they, are, are they from each other? That's what we're going to figure out in this video. All right, let's go. Okay, there he is. A little illustration there. Once again, we're on a wiki of ice and fire. Go check it out. If you have any type of curiosity or tickle at all about anything Game of Thrones related. Uh, okay, let's take a look here. Um, issue. Wow, that man got busy. Uh, Rickon Stark, Sarah Stark, Alice, Rhea, Mariah, Jonal, Edric, Liana, Barthigan. Fucking Barthigan. And then Brandon Stark, right? That's a pretty traditional name for a Stark. Uh, let's start at the top here and look at Rickon. I do have a pen and pad in front of me, in front of me here uh, just to count like how many generations are separated between Cregan and Ned because I know I'm not going to keep track in my head. Uh, let's take a look here. Rickon was a member of House Stark, the eldest son and heir of Lord Cregan and Lady Ara Nori. He married Jane Manderley, with whom he had two daughters, Sansa and Serena. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's fast forward to the conquest of Dorne, which is something that takes place during Darren, the young dragon's reign. Um, he's a really interesting Targaryen king that takes place after the dance of the dragons. If you have, again, any type of curiosity with that, go ahead and search Darren, a dragon. He's going to be Darren, the first Targaryen, not Darren, the second, uh, Rickon fought beneath the Targaryen banner. When the young dragon King Darren, the first sought to conquer Dorne, he fought bravely as deeds sometimes reported by Darren in his conquest of Dorne. Whoa. Uh, Rickon's death outside of Sunspear, which is in Dorne as the capital of Dorne. And one of the final battles was lamented in the North for years to come because of the troubles that dogged the reigns of his half brothers. Issue, Sansa Stark and Serena Stark. Okay, so we know what the tradition and customs are in the North. It always passes down to the eldest son. So we can surmise that since Lord Rickon Stark had no uh, male heir, it probably passed to one of his younger brothers. So let's go back here and take a look and see what's next. Sarah, Alice, Rhea, Mariah, Jonal. All right, let's go take a look at Jonal. Jonal, also known as One-Eye, was a Lord of Winterfell and head of House Stark in the latter half of the second century after Aegon's conquest. He was the second son of Lord Cregan Stark and the first by his third and final wife, Lenara Stark. All right, let's fast forward down to here. Jonal had one eye. Thank you. We got that. Uh, Jonal became the heir to Winterfell after the death of his older brother, Rickon, in the conquest of Dorne, passing over Rickon's daughters, Sansa and Serena. Jonal also marries married Sansa, his half-niece. Whoa. God damn, I thought just the Targaryens did that shit. Um, Jonal became the Lord of Winterfell after the death of his father, Cregan. And the North lamented the death of Rickon for the reigns of Jonal and his brothers after him were troublesome. Sounds that way. Uh, Jonal's marriage with Sansa was childless. After her death, he married Robin Risewell, but also had no issue. He was succeeded by his brother, Barthagin Stark, as Lord of Winterfell. All right, so as we can see with Jonal One-Eye, he had no issue. Uh, yeah, again, uh, childless. After her death, he married Robin Riswell. All right, so let's just fast forward here to Barthigan. Once again, we're still dealing with the sons of Cregan Stark, so we really haven't, like, bridged that gap to, like, Cregan, like, his grandson. Um, so we're just going to try to piece this together. He had a lot of sons and just children in general. Barthigan, also called Barth Blacksword, it's a badass name, was the Lord of Winterfell and the head of House Stark during the reign of King Darren II. That would be Darren the Good, not to be confused with Darren the Young Dragon that we just spoke about before, that had like an absolute hard-on to conquest, to complete the conquest of Dorne and to bring Dorne uh, into the, the fold of the Seven Kingdoms, bending the knee to the Iron Throne. He failed. He was the fourth-born son of Lord Cregan Stark the third by his last wife, Lady Lenara. Barthigan became Lord of Winterfell after the death of his brother, Jonal. 
who had no issue birthing him, was killed when Skagosi rose up against Winterfell during the reign of King Darren II Targaryen. Barthian is entombed in the crypts of Winterfell. He was succeeded as Lord of Winterfell by his younger brother, Brandon. Okay, so once again, we're talking about the sons of Krieg and Stark here. Thank God that man got busy, I guess, right? Uh, and thank God for all of his wives, right? Let's not let the ladies go forgotten here. Uh, Brandon Stark was the Lord of Winterfell and head of House Stark during the reign of King Darren II Targaryen. He was the youngest son of Lord Cregan and Lady Lenora. Brandon succeeded his uh, brother Barthagen as Lord of Winterfell uh, at some time during the reign of King Darren II. Brandon married Lady Alice Carstark there. Okay, some Stark blood with Stark blood there, uh, with whom he had three children, Rodwell, Baron, and Arsa Stark. Before his marriage, he had an affair with, God damn it, Brandon. We were doing all right there for a minute, man. Uh, he had an affair with Willa Fenn, which resulted in the bastard's son, Lonel Snow. Brandon is buried in the crypts of Winterfell. Okay, let's go to Rodwell. Rodwell was the Lord of Winterfell and the head of House Stark during the reign of King Darren II Targaryen. Rodwell was the eldest son of Lord Brandon Stark and his lady wife, Alice Carr Stark. And he had two younger siblings, Baron and Arsa, as well as one bastard half-brother, Lionel Snow. Lord Rodwell married Lady Miriam Manderley. The Manderleys, man, they just love that mermaid shit, uh, but had no issue. His brother, Baron, followed him as Lord of Winterfell. Here we go again. All right, let's follow Baron. Where's Baron at? There you are, Baron. So Rodwell's a no. Let's see what Baron does here. Baron was the Lord of Winterfell and the head of House Stark during the reign of King Aerys I. Baron was the younger grandson of Cregan Stark. Baron became the Lord of Winterfell after his older brother Rodwell died without issue. Lord Baron gathered swords to throw Lord Dagon Greyjoy's ironmen back into the sea and made common cause with the Lord of Casterly Rock for it. Who would have thought, like, Starks and Lannisters finding a common goal? But that's what fucking Greyjoys will do to you, people. They will do. They will make, like, the, the whole, like, enemy of the enemy is my friend type thing. Uh, according to a semi-canon source, he was mortally wounded in the ensuing clash. However, and how Stark faced a crisis of succession as his wife and four other recent Stark widows made claims for their own children. Despite the crisis, Baron's eldest son. So he has an eldest son. Why is there a crisis? Like, let's just give Donner a chance here. Succeeded him as Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. Uh, let's see. Donner Stark was a Lord of Winterfell and head of House Stark. He was the eldest son of Lord Baron and his lady wife, uh, Laura Royce. Royce has come from the Vale. He had four younger brothers. Woo! Willem, Ardos, Erold, Roderick. How about that succession issue? And two younger sisters, Barina and Alisanne. Uh, according to a semi-canon source, Donner's father, Lord Baron, was mortally wounded by Ironborn. How Stark faced a crisis of succession as his wife and four other recent Stark widows made claim for their own children. In the end, Donner succeeded his father as Lord of Winterfell. Sometimes it's just a simple solution, people. We don't got to get all crazy. Uh, as Donner died without issue, heard that before, his brother Willem inherited Winterfell after Donner's death. All right, let's take a look at Willem. Uh, Willem, Lord of Winterfell and head of the Stark uh, during the reign of King Maekar the First Targaryen. Um, Willem became Lord of Winterfell after the death of his older brother Donner. Willem married Leanne Glover. Uh, that's also a northern family of Deepwood Mott, and had one child with her, Brandon. But Leanne died while giving birth to the boy. Nan came to Winterfell to be Brandon's wet nurse. Those names sound familiar. Uh, but he died at the age of three of a summer chill. Um, Willem then took uh, Melantha, 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 Blackwood of the Riverlands uh, as his second wife. And together they had two children, Edwile and Jocelyn. Um, when Raymond Redbeard, the king beyond the wall, went over the wall, Lord Willem called his banners and marched with Lord Harmon Umber uh, with the Northmen meeting the wildlings on the shores of Long Lake in 226 AC. Willem was killed and beheaded in a battle at Long Lake, but his younger brother, Ardos, avenged him by slaying Raymond. Uh, Willem was succeeded as Lord of Winterfell by his son, Edwile. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, after Cregan, we've got Brandon to Baron to Willem to Edwile. Okay, so that's what we're working with. That's the current tally right now. So that's after Cregan, we've got one, two, three, and we're going on to the fourth. All right, Edwile Stark was the Lord of Winterfell and the head of House Stark during the late reign of King Maekar I Targaryen in the reign of King Aegon V. He was the only son of Lord Willem Stark and his second wife, Lady Melantha Blackwood. Edwild married uh, Marna Locke, that's also another northern family, and had only one child with her, Rickard. 
Edouard was buried in the crypt of Winterfell. There is a statue of him placed with his tomb. Edouard was succeeded as Lord of Winterfell by his son, Rickard Stark. Hmm. We've heard of Rickard Stark before. Are we far enough along? Is that the Rickard Stark that is Ned's dad? Are we getting somewhere here? Ah, we are getting somewhere here. That is, in fact, uh, like Rob and Bran and Rickon and Sansa and Arya's grandfather right there, Rickard Stark. Rickard Stark was Lord of Winterfell, Warden of the North, and head of House Stark during the reign of King Aerys II Targaryen, the Mad King. He was the only child of Lord Edwild Stark and Lady Marna Locke. Wow. It's crazy when you look at this and it's only like only one child and it happens to be a son and like a great house, which would be House Stark. They're one of the great houses of Westeros. They're like that close to like just being completely extinct, like through the male line. And then, well... Rickard was the father of the current Lord of Winterfell, Eddard Stark, in the television adaptation. Okay, we don't care about that. Uh, but if you look at his issue here, Brandon Stark, uh, Ned, Lyanna, Benjen, right? It's just crazy how it's that close to being extinct. And then uh, he goes on and has three sons and a daughter. Um, let's go down here. I mean, we don't really need to investigate that much further here, right? Because we know who it's going to pass down to next. I always thought Brandon Stark's image here was really badass. They really do start doing a good job here. Um, shout out Mike Halstein. Awesome image. The man just looks like a typical Stark badass with ice. Yeah, he looks like a man not to be trifled with. Um, and then I always like Brandon's image too. Damn. Looks like an absolute beast. Uh, let's just go back here. And then we're at Ned. There you go. The quiet wolf, right? Isn't that what his nickname is? Where is it? Titles. Ah, yes. The Quiet Wolf. The Ned. The Ned. Wait, what? He was known as the Ned? I don't remember the Ned, but... Okay. Uh, so we go Edwild to Rickard to the Ned. All right, so we're going to tally this up here. Here's how I'm going to read this. This goes from Cregan Stark. Uh, who's all the way back in the Dance of the Dragons, which is, like I said, God, I don't even know, like 129 to 131 AC. And then we have Ned, uh, obviously, he, well, he's born in 263 AC. So the amount of time that passes from Krieg and Stark um, being influential in the Dance of the Dragons um, all the way to Ned, who is the Lord of Winterfell in the first season of Game of Thrones, Right, a significant amount of time passes. Okay, so what does all of this mean? Like, in the grand scheme of things, like, who is Cregan Stark to Ned Stark? Like, how far separated are they? Well, let's scroll down to the bottom here, and let's take a look, because this also shows us here, actually on the screen, where he, like, actually comes from, right? And there's Baron, right? Baron's at the top of the list right there, and if you hover over Baron, Baron was the Lord of Winterfell and the head of House Stark during the reign of King Aerys I Targaryen. Baron was a younger grandson of Cregan Stark. All right. Now, Baron comes from Brandon. Brandon was one of Cregan's later sons. I think it actually was his last son, if I'm remembering this correctly, from like Lenara. Um, so it goes from Cregan to Brandon to Baron to Willem, Edwile, Rickard, and Ned. Okay. So if you follow this here, we go Baron to Willem to Edwal, Rickard, and Ned. Okay, so Cregan Stark, who's going to be the Lord of Winterfell in the second season of House of the Dragon, would be Ned Stark's... Let me see here. Edwal would be his grandfather. Willem would be his great-grandfather. Baron would be his great-great-grandfather. Brandon would be his great, great, great grandfather, and Cregan would be Ned's great, 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 great grandfather. Four greats and a grandfather, basically, is what Cregan Stark is to Ned Stark. So that's how far separated they are um, from the second season, House of the Dragon, Lord of Winterfell, to the first season of Game of Thrones, Lord of Winterfell. Um, that was a little confusing at times. And I think mainly just because Cregan had so many kids and there was like a lot of like succession issues there early on. Shout out to, to succession. that's on HBO. We got like literally like a, like a fantasy medieval world version of it here with Cregan. Um, but that is the relation that is the tie to Ned. That's how far separated that they are. Uh, which I think it's cool to just go and take a look at that just to see like how close 
these family members are to the Game of Thrones that we saw from 2011 to 2019. They're not that far separated. Yeah, hey, look, I just wanted to make this little video here. This is some goofy Game of Thrones stuff that I always is like in my brain for some reason. And I always find myself here on a wiki of ice and fire just trying to piece the puzzles, puzzles together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you can see the relation here between the two Stark lords from Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon is coming up here in uh, hopefully not that much time, four, five, six months or whatever. Um, but hey. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see me do more of these like Game of Thrones rabbit hole uh, searches on a wiki of ice and fire, I love doing that stuff. Kind of similar to this, kind of similar to the Harry and Karstark one. Um, let me know if there's anything you have an interest in. Maybe it's a, you know, great house that's, I don't know, maybe you have an interest in House Martell or House Aaron or uh, like the rivalry between two houses in the Riverlands or something like that. Let me know. Um, I'm always down to do these. I really enjoy these. So just drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.